Hello everyone, and we're back for another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals. And for today's video, we will be featuring the Lego compatible custom Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, Carnotaurus, or otherwise known as Toro. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The winners of the Guesses PC Contest will be announced at the end of the video, but for now, here's how to join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to be able to see all my posts. That scene from Fallen Kingdom really is one of the highlights of that movie. So here we are to be presenting the Carnotaurus or Toro from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous series. And um, here is Asher who will be helping me out to present this one. Toro is simply one of the main antagonists of that particular series and I think Toro had the most screen time as well. During the events of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, Toro appears extremely aggressive, most like most carnivores bred for Jurassic World, especially after her snout is injured while trying to eat Darius. Toro is very persistent while hunting and would stop only if it's impossible for her to kill her prey. Usher will be coming back later, but for now let us have a closer look. So here is Toro or the current Taurus from the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. It's actually based off freely from that particular um, series. You can see here that uh, on the snout there is a distinctive scar on his head. Very much like how it is here depicted. See the scar on the um, right cheek or right head? Let's take a look closer. The scar would start on the nasal bone towards the maxilla of the Carnotaurus. Uh, Toro is basically almost identical to most Carnotaurus, being reddish brown with black patterns and having a build common of its species, except that uh, it has started horns on the right side of its head. Toro's most distinguishing feature is a large scar on the right side of its snout from a failed attempt to catch Darius. By the end of the series, Toro is covered in severe burns everywhere except for her tail, giving it a darker coloration. This one is a Toro that is not yet burned. So looking at the articulation of Toro, you can see here that the head can turn and also uh, twist it uh, around and so. And it can actually look from the side uh, if you're going to turn it into a certain angle. Alright. So, uh, it can also move its arms and also its legs like so. And of course, the articulations of the tail is uh, pretty much the same as how I did with my uh, medium-sized carnivores. The stripe patterns on this carnotaurus is very much similar to that of a tiger, so I'm pretty much liking it. It also has this um, 2x2 base plate on its back. And that's about it for the closer look, now it's time for us to have some size comparisons. You can see here that the uh, size to our human is actually very much similar to that of this figure and comparing it with um, Azure who is a mini, mini figure of the regular size. Now let us compare here with a Carnotaurus from the LEGO uh, brand. Uh, of course, uh, as LEGO really did a good job with the mold and the um, the head of this particular uh, species, I really think that this Carnotaurus is really large for its um, for its size. It's almost the same size of the T-Rex or the Indominus Rex in terms of uh, body and also the uh, proportions of the head. Now comparing it with our uh, custom here, Toro, you can see that definitely uh, in terms of height, the Lego uh, Carn Taurus is actually taller uh, by the hips and also bigger uh, when comparing it from uh, this particular angle. And that's about it for the Lego Carnotaurus. Now it's time for us to compare with other 
uh, figures that I did, I mean other costumes that I did at least. So here's the uh, current Taurus and uh, let us compare it with this um, repaint of blue that I did. This uh, particular uh, Velociraptor is actually uh, the same size as that of the mini raptors that I've shown in one of my unboxing videos. Now let us bring out one of my earliest uh, customs, at least for the medium-sized uh, carnivores. This is the uh, Carnotaurus from 3 years back, I guess. And I think uh, it is uh, almost the same size actually with this particular uh, custom. However, the uh, make or the uh, legs are actually different as well as the uh, use of the arms and also how I uh, managed to uh, change the head as well. Now let's bring out this gun raptor. This kind of raptor was actually featured a few weeks back and I, uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I guess uh, go ahead and see it. It's a good video and I think it is one of my most colorful um, customs yet. So here is the Carnotaurus family. You have here the Carno Raptor, the Toro from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and also my previous Carnotaurus uh, custom. I like bringing them out together like this. It seems like it's a family picture. I do plan to do a chameleon carnotaurus someday from the Jurassic Park uh, 2 novel. However, let us move on to assembly. This figure is actually made up of 10 pieces. Let's start connecting the head with the lower jaw. After this, let's connect it with the neck piece. Now after connecting it with the neck, let's have it connected with the body. Alright. Now let's connect the arms. Let's start with the left arm, followed by the right arm. Now let's proceed connecting the legs. Let's start with the right and then with the left. Now let's finish it off with the tail. And that's the completed figure, Carnotaurus. I have a few footages and also photos of when I was making this video, so here is Extinct Breaks at work. Here I am sketching on the plan for Carnotaurus, and here I'm just using this uh, dragon from the Ghidorah uh, set that I uh, recently bought. Uh, maybe I will be showing an unboxing video for this one soon, so watch out for that. So after I have laid out the plan, I started immediately with kit bashing. Here I used uh, the stump of the Indominus Rex for the head and also several pieces from the Stigimolok um, figure such as the arms. Now here I am started on with the uh, sculpting phase where I mix equal parts of uh, epoxy and zag. Uh, this actually helps me with um, a little bit of grip on the figure itself because it dries very quickly and uh, it allows me to um, manipulate the clay without sticking so much on my hands. It suggests that it has a little bit faster um, drying time and thus working time on the figure. And here is the Carnotaurus with the finished sculpt. And after it is fully dried, I started on with the wet sanding and then after wet sanding, I started on putting several more details such as placing in the osteoderms or the scoots on the back of the figure. After I am thoroughly satisfied with the um, details, I started on with primering the actual figure. After primer, you know what comes next, it's painting time! And to do this, I started on always with the lighter parts. This time, I used the um, uh, gray, grayish tone on the underbelly as well as the arms for the Carnotaurus. And then moved on with the other primary colors such as this brown red um, 
I had some difficulty with the color uh, adjustments uh, because I am a little bit colorblind, especially with the red tones, and had to uh, ask consult with somebody else when it comes to um, finishing up with the figure. As you can see, there might be a little difference in the color tones uh, with this and also with the um, actual figure itself. Now, after that, I do start on with the um, other details such as the stripes on the head and uh, the claws and eye colors as well. As with my other figures, I try to finish it off with one side and then the other on the next just to make it very symmetrical. And here I am painting on the scar on uh, Toro with a lightish of pink because it's still fresh, you know, and uh, I wanted it to have that um, uh, specific Toro look to it. And after this, I paint on the eyes, and that actually completes the figure. The Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Carnotaurus Toro. It's about end of the video, so it's time for us to have some last looks. Now, Toro is a Carnotaurus in the animated TV series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Its name came from the Latin words carne meaning meat and the Greek word taurus meaning bull. It is technically meat eating bull. Did you know that at some point in her life, Toro became overly aggressive and had to be moved to a separate enclosure away from the guests? That's one dino trivia from me to you guys. I hope you like it. It's Usher's turn to watch over Toro. I hope they get along well. Well, that ends the video. I hope you like it. Now it is time for us to announce the Guess the Species Contest winners. There's a lot of you who answered correctly, so this time we have 10 lucky picks. Iker Manzano, Vicente Mojica, Mix YouTube, Godzard Rex, Lemon Snapsy 2, Kenny Wing, Yeremi Guifaro. Fabricio Suarez, Albert Place PH, and Guillermo Matos de Mora. Congratulations everyone! Now it's time for our top 10. Our Hall, Chung Min Kim, Pro Rex Place, Lost Spec Hover, Bizarre Mars, Shirley Bowie, Mamad Bamad. The Acro 34, Meme Meme, and Eduardo Oliveira. Congratulations, everyone, and I'll see you on the next Guess This PC contest. Also, our babies Moira and Asher has their own vlog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please do watch their videos as well. Thank you for the support, guys. Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!